हेलो एवरीवन कैसे हैं आप लोग तो देखिए द लीडर इंडिया नीड्स टू बी तो इंडिया की क्या स्ट्रेटजी होनी चाहिए वर्ल्ड को लीड करने में विद रिस्पेक्ट टू आपका इसराइल और पेलेस्टीन तो चलिए देखते हैं क्या है ऑन अक्टूबर सेवन हमास लेड पेलेस्टीनियन मिलिटेंट लॉन्च एन इन्वेजन ऑफ साउथ सदर्न इसराइल फ्रॉम द गाजा स्ट्रिप विथ बैरेज ऑफ रॉकेट्स एंड अबाउट थ्री थाउजेंड मिलिटेंट अटैकिंग इसराइली मिलिट्री बेसिस एंड सिविलियन एरियाज ओवर एट हंड्रेड सिविलियंस आर एस्टिमेटेड टू हैव बिन किल्ड अलॉन्ग विद टू हंड्रेड इसराइली सोल्जर्स पोस्ट द अटैक इसराइल रिस्पॉन्डेड विद द ग्राउंड इन्वेजन ऑफ गाजा एज वेल एज एन एरियल बॉम्बार्डमेंट कैंपेन ओवर फोर्टीन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड पेलिस्टीनियंस आर लाइकली टू हैव बिन किल्ड सिंस विद ह्यूमेनिटेरियन क्राइसिस एग्जेबरेटेड बाय द कट ऑफ ऑफ फ्यूल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फूड एंड वाटर More recently, a pause was agreed upon between Hamas and Israel, along with the exchange of captives and prisoners. This situation will get worse. Israel, Israeli Jews have inconstable incon rights to this land, the land of Israel, as well as uh, Judah and Palestine, has witnessed multiple settlements from various tribes for 4,500 BC. it was inhabited by different hun different hunter gatherer tribes who slowly gave way to farmers and herders between 4500 to 3500 bc matlab ye 1000 saal mein there is evidence of early metal working and farming with the city state formation including the establishment of jerusalem to so jerusalem is time ka aapka shift kiya hua hai by 3500 bc and a local hegemony was established by egypt egyptian control gave way due to political turmoil and invasion migration by the sea people by the sea peoples between 1300 and 1200 bc over time the um, israelite culture grew out of existing just a second grew out of existing canon canonite civilization establishing the kingdom of israel and the kingdom of juda by 11th century bc this kingdom once unified was weakened and destroyed by invasion from the assyrian empire with jewish revolts leading to the destruction of solomon's temple and the exile of jew to babylon such exile also came with the evolution of judaism into monotheistic religion the fall of babylon to archimedean empire in 538 bc led to edict of led to edict of cyrus allowing jew to return to juda the second temple was constructed along with the rebuilding of jerusalem by the 4th century the greeks uh, greeks under the alexander con conquered the land followed by numerous revolts such as maccabean revolt and the romans the destruction of the second temple in the 1st century bc and the push by the roman empire to expel jews created by the jewish diaspora the event leading to the holocaust holocaust matlab bahut logo ko ek sath mara gaya holocaust jewish mass immigration and the rise of zionist movement led to establishment of the state of israel in 1948 israel is now here to say stay it deserves a right to exist to so, hum log dekh rahe starting se kitna invasion hua hai kitne log aaye mare aur abhi ab to yahan pe wo consolidate kar chuka hai israel apne aap ko However, the Palestinians have historic rights up to the land as well. So, Palestinians have historic right here, which establish uh, which establish genetic links to the Asian can ancient Canaanites. The establishment of Islam in the Middle East by the late sixth century led to a long period of dominance by various Islamic empires: Umayyad Caliphate, Abbasid Caliphate, Fatimid Caliphate, and Mamluk and Ottoman Empire. and In, intercepts by the crusades this led to arabization of the local palestinian based on linguistic and cultural similarities in 1919 palestinian muslim and the christian constitutes of 90% 90% of the palestinians population in 1922 following world war 1 palestine was made a um, mandate for great britain in 1948 about 7 lakh palestinian were expelled and forced to migrate from the land of israel or palestine with the rights to return uh, denied and creation of permanent state 
less people. This event, the Nakba, is considered a collective trauma by Palestinians, helping to shape their national identity and political aspiration. The Palestinians should have right to return. This is a complex issue. The state of Israel across driven by the Holocaust, 6 million European Jews were systematically murdered under the heinous Nazi regime in Germany and its occupation of Europe. A genocide of Jews has led to the forced migration of Palestinians, creating vicious cycle between Israeli settlement expanding and Palestinian home smuggling. Why? Uh, while attacks continue unabated on innocent Israeli and Israeli Arabs getting caught up in the in-between. Israel stuck between Hezbollah and Hamas has retaliated to rocket attack and kidnapping, but this attack themselves have been provoked by Israel's policy of discouraging Palestinian aspiration. Various solutions have been offered. The land for peace formula, a confederation between Jordan and West Bank, an independent Gaza, an outright annexation settlement by Israel remaining Palestinian territories. None of them have provide, proved satisfactory at restoring peace and uh, amity between Israel and the Palestinians. More recently, the Abraham Accord have sought to break the jinx to establish diplomatic relations between select Arab states and Israel. However, the conflict continues. India's policy towards Israel and Palestine has historically been principal one. India identified with the Palestinian Palestinian struggle in the 1950s, inspired by the way of independence movement across the British Empire. India voted against the partition of Palestine in 1947 and was first non-Arab state to recognize the PLO as the representative of Palestinian. Palestinian Liberation Organization it was also one of the first countries to recognize the state of Palestine in 1988. India co-sponsored the draft resolution of the right to the Palestinian people for swift determination in the 53rd session of the United Assembly and voted against the construction of separate wall by Israel in United Nations General Assembly session in October 2003. It has maintained diplomatic relations with the Palestinian Authority with multiple visits to India by the late President Yasser Arafat and President Mohammed Abbas, culminating in the visits to the West Bank and current Prime Minister in February 2018, India has, India has and continues to provide material and diplomatic aid to the Palestine, with significant investment in monetary assistance, education, health care, sports and capacity building. However, in Global South, there is an increased perception that India is drifting, drifting from its historical neutrality on the Palestinian issue. Pranab Mukherjee, so I mean, you guys are saying that India is drifting from Israel because starting from India's relationship with Palestine. Pranab Mukherjee's milestone visit to East Jerusalem in 2015 was greeted by protesters questioning India's growing ties with Israel. More recently, India expressed its support for Israel immediately after the attack by Hamas. A few days later, the Ministry of External Affairs reiterated India's commitment to the two-state solution. Then India abstained from the UN resolution for humanitarian truce in Gaza. Shortly after, it voted in favor of resolution condemning settlement activities in the occupied Palestinian territories. This switching position has appeared paradoxical. At odds with the most developing countries to emerge as a council and leader of the global south. India's foreign policy will need to be consistent. So, here we have India is saying something else. India is saying something else. Now, India is saying something else. Now, change the position again. So, this is what paradoxical is saying. It's not the same. India should keep its foreign policy consistent. While India has a significant footprint in the global affair, it has limited leverage in the Israel-Palestine conflict. Our strategic interests in West Asia increasingly lie with the Gulf Arab states, embracing economic integration and physical Inter interconnectivity. India should bluster its planetary humanitarian aid dollar thirty five million over the past two decades for the Palestinian people. Beyond this, we can continue to send medical and disaster relief aid to Gaza. We could push Israel and Palestinian Authority to resume direct negotiations for establishing a sovereign, independent and econo economically viable state of Palestine. 
which uh, which lives side by side uh, and in peace with the state of israel protests in the favor of palestinian must not be curtailed as was done with the students from aligar muslim university in early october are kaise log support do hamara deserve condemnation for continuing to hold on to washes any further violation from them must be called out similarly israel might be pushed to remove settlements in the west bank reduce the use of excessive force and ask and ask to further negotiate uh, ask to further negotiate for the release of more hostages india can be reestablished its principal approach on this topic highlighting the merits of the non violent struggle of the palestinian as well as the use of strategic patience and democratic cooperation by israel any further dilution of your historic and principal stand would be detrimental to our long term aspirations our perception as an inclusive nation and our strategic interest in west asia before the incident of october there was a vision of well integrated indo arab israel world emerging in west asia we must make it happen kafi bada article tha aur acha article tha to ab exam point of view se dekh lete hain क्या इम्पोर्टेंट होता है चलिए सबसे पहले ये हो गया आपका इसराइल यहाँ पर हो गया आपका गाजा ये हो गया आपका वेस्ट बैंक चलिए ठीक है इसराइल के ऊपर में नॉर्थ में ईस्ट में वेस्ट में साउथ में और नॉर्थ ईस्ट में यहाँ पे सीरिया यहाँ पे जॉर्डन नीचे में सीनाई पेनिनशुला और यहाँ पे मेडिटेरेनियन सी और ऊपर आपका क्या है लेबनान ठीक है ये तो लोकेशन हो गया ये क्या है आपका गाजा स्ट्रिप जिसको बोला जाता है और ये है आपका वेस्ट बैंक वेस्ट बैंक और ये आपका इसराइल पूरा तो ये तो आपके इसराइल का लोकेशन हो गया यहाँ से बम्बार्टमेंट शुरू हुई यहाँ पे मार रहे हो तो लोगों को बुरा लग रहा है मेरे को एक चीज रिलीजन तो मैं देख भी नहीं रहा यहाँ पे सबसे पहली चीज मैं देख रहा हूँ कि अगर कोई मारे तो छोड़ो मत और तुम पहले कभी मारो मत मेरे को ये ही एटीट्यूड सही लगता है क्यों यहाँ पे ये लोग क्यों छोड़ दें इन्होंने मारा तो ताकि फिर से छोड़ दे ताकि ये लोग फिर से मारे मेरी बातें गलत होंगी पर नॉर्मल कॉमन सेंस तो यही कहता है ना कि छोड़ो मत अगर किसी को किसी के बॉडी में कैंसर का सेल है तो क्या उसको आधा मार के छोड़ देते हैं भाई छोड़ के देखो वापस से उससे बड़ा कैंसर तुमको बना कर देगा तो उसको प्रॉपरली पूरे अच्छे तरीके से रिमूव किया जाता है चाहे कोई भी हो अगर आपने ये अटैक किया है तो आपको तो उसके रिप्रिकॉशन होने पड़ेंगे सहने पड़ेंगे तब उसके बाद ये रोना क्या है कि भाई देखो हमको मारा जा रहा है और जहाँ तक बात रही लैंड दोनों का था यहाँ पे देखो रिसोर्स आपका जो है रिसोर्स लिमिटेड है ठीक है लिमिटेड रिसोर्स मतलब लैंड यहाँ पे लैंड तो एक ही थी ठीक है कभी वो आके रहे कभी ये आके रहे तो यहाँ पे रिसोर्स क्रंच हो गया तो उन दोनों को वो चाहिए रहने के लिए अब सर्वाइवल होना था तो सर्वाइव करने के लिए सिंपल से सॉरी सर्वाइवल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट जो लड़ेगा वही जिंदा रहेगा इन्होंने इसराइलीज ने जूज ने अपने आप को डेवलप किया इन्होंने अच्छे से अपने सारे साइंस एंड टेक में ध्यान दिया आर एन डी में ध्यान दिया इन्होंने अपने आप को डेवलप किया कहीं ना कहीं ये लोग पीछे रह गए तो अगर आप डेवलप नहीं करोगे तो आप रहोगे कैसे ये तो सिंपल सी बात है ना सर्वाइवल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट है क्योंकि रिसोर्स लिमिटेड है तो और मैं तो बता रहा हूँ यहाँ पे झगड़ा खैर इतना करना नहीं चाहिए गलत बात है और इस में इंडिया के इंस्टांस की बात हुई है इंडिया का क्या स्टांस होना चाहिए तो इंडिया का बस ये स्टांस होना चाहिए पहले इंडिया पेलेस्टीन के उसमें था पेलेस्टीन को रिकॉग्नाइज करने वाला फर्स्ट नॉन अरब स्टेट था और 1988 में ही पेलेस्टीन को इसने इंडिया ने आपके रिकॉग्नाइज कर दिया तो ठीक है मान लिया कर दिया तो क्या उसके गलत जो हरकत है उसको भी रिकोगनाइज करेगा हाँ बिल्कुल करेगा आपने उस स्टेट को रिकोगनाइज किया है उसके अच्छे चीजों को रिकोगनाइज किया इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि आप उसके गलत चीजों का भी साथ दोगे 
बात रहे इंटरेस्ट की तो अरब वर्ल्ड के साथ और इसराइल के साथ इंडिया को दोनों से ही फायदा है तो इंडिया को दोनों का ही साथ देना है और यहाँ पे ऐसा नहीं है कि किसी एक को छोड़ दो दोनों का साथ दो बैठ के सोल्यूशन निकालो कि भाई दोनों लोग को एग्जिस्ट कर पाए आपस में पीसफुली रह पाए इंडिया को ऐसा कुछ बड़ा स्टेप लेना पड़ेगा क्योंकि इंडिया अब एक पावर सेंटर धीरे धीरे इमर्ज एज ए पावर सेंटर इंडिया हो रहा है तो इस